Hello Scrappers! This is Lorraine from Card Creations and today we'll be making this card using the Straight From The Nest Cricut cartridge. And this is what it looks like. It says bird's eye view. I think that is adorable. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. I've got my four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and add my mat, which is cut a quarter inch smaller. And I went ahead and did some faux stitching with my white gel pen on my purple cardstock. And we'll go ahead and attach that to the front of our card. And this cut here is two separate pieces, and that can be found on page 66. And I'm going to go ahead and turn to the page and show you exactly what I what I did. And here we go. Okay, it has this frame down here, and I cut that at four and a half inches and then I did the shift and cut this piece up here. At first I wasn't sure if I liked it. I was planning to trim that little piece there um, that uh, sticks out and then I thought well I'll just go ahead and work with it. So I added a, uh, a brad to that end and then I attached this piece to the base frame with one layer of foam tape that way your brad wouldn't um, be in the way or be bumpy, everything would be leveled. And then I went ahead and added one layer of foam tape to the back of that also. So we'll go ahead and attach this to the front of our card. And then uh, for the phrase, that is cut uh, uh, at two and a quarter inches and that can be found on page 45. And also I have a small branch and that's on page 45 also and I cut that at two inches. Now I think I'm going to add my brad on my right side of my card. Just center that and there we go. And here's my little bird's eye view. And this is so adorable because the little owl is actually attached to the sentiment itself Go ahead and show you that on page 45. Let me turn to my page. And it's this branch. Well, actually, this is the branch that I cut, and I cut the layer with it. And uh, the bird's eye view is down here. And I did not cut a shadow for it, uh, I just cut just the phrase. And um, you do the shift and then you can cut the owl in whatever color you want. I did cut several layers. I think I cut two layers of cardstock to make my frame a little bit sturdier. I added one layer of foam tape to the back. And you do have to cut the strips a little thin, but this stuff is great. And it won't tear when you're trying to cut thin pieces. So. That's why I love this stuff so much. And it's very inexpensive. So we'll go ahead and peel this off. And actually, let's see, I think I'm going to have to add my uh, branch on there first. And when I get ready to do that, I'm going to have to just pause for a moment and run and get my liquid adhesive. I didn't need scissors today, like I always forget my scissors, but I didn't need that. I double checked, but I did forget my glue, but no problem. We'll go ahead and just let you have a, a look at my card while I get my adhesive. Okay. I'm using the Scott's quick dry adhesive for my branch 
and it is a little tiny branch but um, it's just going to be going right about here so you only need to add adhesive to part of it so I'll go ahead and do that now see if that works there I think I've got plenty now just a little portion of the branch because I want part of it to hang off my frame so we'll add that right about there okay and since we have this all ready to go I'll just kind of position it in the center and leave some of the branch right underneath my sentiment and there we go one of our cards using the straight from the nest cricket cartridge that my friend Gigi has let me borrow graciously for so long thank you Gigi and let me zoom in just a little bit so you can get a little bit better look of my card and there we go thanks for watching